I was backing up my vehicle turning around on this dirt road and in my rear view mirror I see a dude in the forest that's what first clicked into my mind was back here behind this busted up log was standing a dude and then he, he turned and went out of the frame of my mirror and then that's when it clicked that he's all in brown all dark brown grab the camera and jump out and I come running back to the log there is a track there's a track about six inches wide right here there's a highway we're on top of the mountain in uh, Monte Cristo just I don't know about 50 yards off the highway on this dirt road I was just turning around over there and saw that going on in the rear view mirror you know the bow hunt's going on right now so I thought I saw a bow hunter this is much wider than a person it's like it's all hill and then you can see where it stepped again up here thing is, is I didn't see it on this side of the log I saw it over here and it ran off that direction away from the freeway this one is well over seven inches wide if that's a toe out here on the end it's eight but you can see where some of the toes dug in this is fairly fresh the vegetation still mushed down it hasn't started bouncing back it may very well what i just saw in my rear view mirror it's like it had most of its weight on the front it's not leaving a very good back definition of the hill but i can tell how things are squished down it's over 14 maybe even 15 inches in length right there the hill just like the other ones the hills close to seven if that's indeed a part of a toe off the end it's eight you can see all the toes up here and then you can see also where it stepped here and um, look at this piece of vegetation right here smashed down look how smashed this is and you can see where the toes drove in up at the top right there and then there's another step okay bigfoot has a snapping habit and it looks like it may have very well snapped something that just barely fell here probably off of this tree it either snapped it or its shoulder hit it and snapped it off over six inches wide at the toes here and the hill on this one, which is pretty defined. This one here is 13 and a half, maybe 14. May have had the hill raised up a little bit as it took off that way. Okay, um, it appears to me by the dimensions, we have two separate Bigfoots here. And traditionally, usually when we find one Bigfoot track, we find another. They usually don't travel alone. They travel in pairs or triplets or whatever. We got evidence of possibly two individuals here. And now we're gonna look around and see if we can find any more of their tracks. Stuff has been smashed down. And I told you I was backing up over here and saw what I thought was a guy that standing there behind this log. That's what it registered it is there's a guy. And then boom, it ran out of frame. And as it was running, I realized head to toe, a dark brown. This is the direction that I saw it running. Yeah, and I really don't need to be quiet. It saw us backing up, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Get out of the car and run after it. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny and I are nowhere close to where we want to be. We're up here today servicing five game cameras that are on top of this mountain. I had to go to the bathroom. So we pulled off onto this dirt road and I found a good private place off of the, the highway right here. Yeah, we're probably about 15 miles away from our, uh, the first camera that we want to service. And just turning around, that happened. You know, I want to tell you guys the, the bow hunt's going on right now. And so that's the first thing I thought was 
someone camoed up and then realized it was a solid brown head to toe. And now I'm not finding people footprints. The only footprints I'm finding suggests Bigfoot, two different individuals. And it looks like they were laying down right here. Yeah, this whole place, and let me just show you this spot over here. All of this is all mushed down on this little, and something right there went over top of the log right there. Okay, what I want to point out is because there's, oh, there's a bunch of rose hips and stuff here too, and uh, different types of berries. I know a hunt's going on right now, and people don't hunt right off a of pavement. There's a paved road about 50 yards from here. You guys can hear the cars going by. The Bigfoot may feel closer to the road where people aren't actually hunting is, I don't know what the bow laws are, but when you're rifle hunting, you have to be so far off of a paved road, so far off of a dirt road, to legally shoot your deer or whatever you're after. So these Bigfoot may be sticking close to the pavement, knowing that the hunters aren't gonna be bushwhacking right here. Just Jenny and I. It was standing here kind of like this, and I'm like, oh, there's a dude. And then bam, it's boom. It, it just went right out of the frame and you were in the car with me. You probably heard me freaking out, Jenny. Dove out with the camera and come running back, realizing, oh, I think I see another Bigfoot track. Hey, this is consistent with the other one. This doesn't look as fresh. This one looks like it stepped here and then it rained. And it's been raining at night the last three days in a row here. So it may very well made this one yesterday and then it got rained on last night from the big toe all the way back where I'm seeing the hill come around is about 16 inches maybe more a footprint in the earth isn't necessarily the dimensions of the Bigfoot track it's just the damage it made to the earth it looks like if that's indeed a Bigfoot it stepped there yesterday you can see part of one right here Here's a decent one. 15 inches, about 14 Did you hear those turkeys? Yeah. They gobbled again. About five inches wide there. And the toes, six and a half, seven. Now the toes, they can splay their toes or they can keep them together, depending on what they're doing, how they're interacting with the earth. You'll sometimes see the same squatch leaving eight inches wide or seven inches wide, depending on the orientation of their, their toes. When all the footprints are identical, that's when you gotta be skeptical. Could be stamped out, but when you're seeing inconsistencies in toe width and all that, it shows to me that it's a living creature with moving parts making these tracks. But this is just too weird. We're gonna keep looking around for Bigfoot evidence, catch up to what I saw in my rear view mirror. 14 long, like what we've been finding. Seven inches wide at the toes, over seven. And at the hill, and the hill's very well rounded and crisp, right around six. So it's the same and, size as- and, and there's a mid tarsal going on right, right there. there. Um, it's about 14 on the spot. It just came out of the bushes and crossed the road. Now here's another one. Almost 14. Almost six at the hill six up at the toes so it's the same one there's one more it just ran right through here right oh and I bet it hopped that fence right there
Yeah, see, it came right through here. It just jumped right over the fence. Here's another one. It's over 14, 14 and a half. Look, you step there. This is probably a leaping point. Over by the downed log, I think we found two individual tracks. I'm gonna look on this fence and see if there's any hair. You can see where something landed right over there. Right there. Right there. Just ran off in that direction. There's the big one. Oh. He may have wear it very well, just casually stepped over this fence. That's true. 36 inches. So exactly three feet is the top of this wire. It looks like he casually stepped right here. Here's his giant hill. And this one is 19 inches. Six and a half at the hill. And the toe spread, the toe spread is about eight inches. I mean, th this could very well be a third individual or the two other tracks we've seen. But I think this is the big male. I think this is the eight and a half to nine footer that people are seeing up here. The other tracks that we were finding, 14's consistent with a female or a juvenile male. And then the other one was right around 15. This may be the alpha male. This one is just huge. He's, he's about 19. And I don't think he double stepped there. If he stepped over this fence, I just don't see him stepping his next foot exactly where his other one is. I think he would have, uh, you know, I think he would have stepped over the fence like this, because that's his right. And then he would have had to done this thing and come up here somewhere. Well, if he hopped over the fence, he sunk in more there than he did over here. He just could have leaped the fence and squished in right there. Mm hmm And then his next step wasn't with that impact of the jump. And heck, I mean, this is all smashed down right here on top of the root. Yeah. That very well could have been his next step. They like to stand on things that give them support three mile trackway that big foot walked across logs and rocks every opportunity it had i want to show you guys a human track real quick this is one of ours on the way in oh yeah <laughs> i just you yeah. know so so you guys can see the difference what we've been showing you yeah. um this is a little over four inches wide up at the toes at the hill four inches wide and it is 10 inches in length. That's probably me. <laughs> or no, I'm, I'm usually 12. Yeah, that's my footprint. <laughs> well, I'm 12 in boots. These are hiking shoes. So they're not as big as my boots, but I think that was Jenny's little foot. I was hoping I could see something on the drive-in on the dash cam that we had running. It would have been up there on the left. The log, is in frame but you can't see it because the forest is so thick but this is where we pulled in so i could relieve myself i'll play it back at slower speeds here in a moment but this is where i got out to relieve myself and then i got back in the vehicle and jenny and i were kind of talking about something and i was ready to back out and that's when i thought I saw a guy standing back there and then my mind grasped what I was looking at and I realized it probably wasn't a person when I got up to that log that log hit me up around the belly button area but I could plainly see the tops of this guy's thigh and the crack between the legs back there and so it had much longer legs than I 
um, doing measurements of my inseam, I would estimate that the legs were two feet longer than mine in order to see the separation between the legs at the top of the thigh over there. I'm sure there's some centers in the NBA that have two feet longer legs than I do or close to that, so I can't rule out a giant person bow hunting in dark brown or black camo head to toe standing back there without a bow. I think whoever it was, the creature was laying behind the log and then stood up at some point in time when I was back there and then when I backed up I saw it or whatever it was and then it bolted away I don't know why a hunter would run away from us like that without his bow okay keep on watching we're gonna keep on squatching